Hello and welcome to D and D on TDO Cast. We are some Dungeons and Dragons online players, uh, and we thank you for joining us today as we play some Fifth Edition D and D. We're using the virtual tabletop Fancy Grounds Unity. You can visit fancygrounds.com or at fancygrounds2 on Twitter to learn more. This is Tomb of Annihilation, uh, and I am Patrick, your dungeon master and host. Uh, thanks for joining us. We encourage you, if you're listening live, to participate at twitch.tv slash titocast, where you can influence the game. If you're not listening live, come listen live and you can mess with them. It's great. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll run down the players. Uh, we'll start with Alexia. Hello, everyone. I'm Alexia. I am a custom lineage artificer. And Fahada. Hey, this is Fahada Thistlewalt, and I am a ranger, level two, outlander, human variant. And Fraggle. Hi, this is Fraggle Flicker Axe, and I am a dwarven cleric, probably. And Grub. At least he's certain about it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Grub, and I'm an acolyte and knowledge barbarian studying at the feet of the all-knowing Bojax. <laughs> Jax. I am Bojax the all-knowing, the original <laughs> knowledge barbarian, uh, here for another day of rolling 20s with a six int. <laughs> and Naldorai. Hello, I'm Naldorai, and I am a clockwork soul sorcerer. Right, and we're missing Dine tonight, uh, who's playing the rogue, the crystal dragonborn rogue in the party. Uh, but we will still draw on without him, and I'm sure it'll be fantastic and great, and we'll have oh so much fun. This is going to be so much fun. And it's all his fault. <laughs> Just getting that out of the way early. <laughs> I'm, sure it'll, I'm sure it'll be fun. Uh, so, when last we, uh, we played, uh, you journeyed into the the jungle of Chult for the first time, uh, looking for some ghouls to slay. You found some. Uh, you were actually able to do that. Let's see, how many did you kill? I, I'm going to put the head number in here. Six, six. Six ghouls. So you have six ghoul heads. Well, five ghouls and a five cast. Ghouls, There's cast. no difference. <laughs> and she's going to pay the same. Uh, and yeah, so you're in the jungle. You have, uh, what's his name? Kwanzaa? That's not right. <laughs> Kawasha. 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 There we go. Uh, Kawasha as your guide uh, with Kapalue, uh, his little veggie pygmy uh, companion. Uh, and that's kind of where we find ourselves. It's uh, kind of the middle of the day on day 12. And I'm not sure if you guys wanted to do anything. You just finished killing ghouls, beheading them, all that fun stuff. Search the body. Uh, I there's think we had a to... short rest already done after that. Uh, let's see. Well, I can just do a... If we didn't already, here's a short rest. Done and done. Yeah, I think the only thing interesting we found was the one ghast had a like a tattooed forehead. Yep. Yep. So it was a tool that... that meant that it once served Nas or Rastnasi. Yep. Something like I say that. Six yeah. is a six is a good start. Let's go. <laughs> And let's what not is... go in, not go in the direction of the frost giant. Right. Okay. Uh. So you guys finish out the day in this area, right? Done. Uh, done looting bodies and everything. Ready to move on? Yes. Okay. Yep. Um. We'll double check something. Seems all right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, you make it to camp. Uh, all right. Uh, 
and oh <laughs> I see it right in there I want everyone to make a roll here That's an impressive set of rolls. Except for Fajada, we'll who's not paying attention. We'll take you with really? 19, 19, 17, 19, 16, 24, 11. Well, all right then. <laughs> Was it a barbarian the other 24? I would say, yeah, that's an option, but it's not. Uh, No, Fraggle had the 24. He's the only person who has a high enough wisdom, so I figured. The bar barbarians had 16 and 17. <laughs> Still impressive. Right. Yep. Um, as you are uh, camping, so you've made camp, but you're not asleep yet. Maybe you're cooking dinner, kind of in that phase. Then you get from dinner. Uh, you are aware of someone or something approaching you. Sound like big, heavy, icy footsteps? Nope. Not like ghouls? Nope. Does it sound like zombies? What What exactly are we hearing? I hide. Sounds Whatever. like someone tramping, uh, Maybe. jaunting through the woods. Is it getting colder? No. Oh. Do we have a fire or are we just eating our berry and getting, getting preparing for bed? So if it stomps along, we don't have to say anything unless it's dumping to us. It's coming towards you. Get my uh, sword out just in case. Yep. Yep. Weapons at the ready. Weapons at the ready. What direction did you say that it's coming from? Uh, I didn't. We'll say from the west. Jax and I now, should move over to that side. Can you? Can anybody yeah. remind me which way were the frost giants coming from, and where were they going? They were coming from the west and going to the east, I believe. And a couple of days north. Yeah. They were going to the west. No, they're coming from the west. And these footsteps are very heavy? No. No. No? Oh. They said they already asked and it was not sounding like frost giants. Oh. Or giants in general. I ready my weapon. But try not to look intimidating. Uh, a man walks into your camp. And, Old person? Uh, We've been looking for you. No, I don't have that spell. Hang on. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This was slightly unexpected. I need to read something real quick. Okay. Uh, so two figures walk into your camp. Ooh, okay. This is the one that smelled funny. Uh, I didn't think anyone smelled funny. We were told that, he... that we were given for the person that our December left with. Uh, sure. Described them as smelling funny. Uh, sure. I mean, it is the guy. Uh, the man walks in and says, Ah, hail and well met. Greetings. And what are your names? I am Artis Simber. And the uh, Saurian introduces himself as Dragonbait. His name is Dragonbait? Uh, wait, hang on. Does he actually speak... Common. Uh, no, he doesn't. Artist uh, introduces him as Dragon Bait. Uh, 
doesn't look like an intimidating kind of setting, so I'm going to let now dry speak. I believe that you have a, da a daughter named Zendala, correct? Um, he's got better notes than you do. <laughs> I'm looking no, I was just place. looking to see if there's any information here that I needed to. Uh, um, yes. She was asking us to find you. Mm. She was worried about you. Ah, well. That is understandable. What? I am fine. What brings you into the jungle? We came hunting undead. How about yourself? I am also searching for things. Anything Any in particular? Anything we can help you potentially find? Mm, perhaps. It is a long story. But if you would permit me to share your fire... Look at everybody else. Sure. Sure. Smile. <laughs> uh, how did you find us? Uh, random chance. Huh. Awfully oh. convenient plot hook. Uh huh. This is a large jungle, so <laughs> I'm guessing random chance plays a lot of roles in. <laughs> I, I mean, I can show you the random chance roll if you want later. <laughs> Everybody rolls 100 on their gold dice once in a while. I was making an actual statement that you kind of need luck to find a random person in the jungle this large. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to think that he's saying the truth there. You should look up the... Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, you do notice that uh, dragon bait uh, does smell, indeed smell, kind of funny. Funny how? Um, doop, 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 doop. Uh, he seems to be... Uh, Evoking sense. Uh, uh, it smells kind of lemony. Lemony. <laughs> Ooh. Like just pl pleasant lemony. Probably. Okay. And everything the smell of insects repellent, probably. I mean, probably. Oh. Although they're probably also wearing. Uh, lemon is or uh, lemon. Uh, they're probably also wearing insect <laughs> repellent as well. So, in um, dra in draconic, I look at dragon bait and uh, just say, "Hello, fellow adventurer." Does he understand or reply? Uh, he waves at you. Uh, artist says, "Ah, uh, please allow me to explain." The surreal language is a combination of clicks and whistles beyond human range of hearing. Uh, dragon bait mostly uses sense to communicate emotions. Mm. Okay. Well, what does lemon mean then? Uh, happiness or joy. Oh. Nice to meet you too. Does he understand it? Does he understand comment? Uh, dragon bait nods. Nice to meet you too. I'm I hope Fahada. you've had a safe trip so far in the jungle. Sorry, what'd you say, Far? I hope you've had a safe trip so far in the jungle. Uh. Um.
yeah, uh, so Dragon Bait, uh, what's he got? He's got some sort of a... Uh, where's his sword? Uh, he's, he uh, smiles and uh, grips his longsword uh, and emits a wood-like smell, a smell of wood and smoke. <laughs> Artists is... Uh, we have had some excitement, but easy enough to deal with. You wouldn't Always. happen to have run into some frost giants, would you? And he tells you, frost giants? My friends, why would anyone run into frost giants in Chult? That's what we uh, saw too until we saw signs that indicated they might have been around recently. There actually were frost giants. We saw the signs. We don't know why they're here, but we saw signs. It's very confusing to me as well. So you were saying that uh, you came out here looking for something. Was there any way we could potentially help you find it? Perhaps. Uh, how long have you been in the jungle? Not very long. Hmm. Too long? We're very new <laughs> at all this. We are almost a week out. Uh, unfortunately, other than wandering the jungle probably not uh, i am looking for a specific rune oh what kind of rune what does it look like can you draw it uh, is that ruin or rune runes yeah so it's a place a... that place that is ruin. no longer like it used to be <laughs> oh okay all right never mind that yeah. are you I N S, not R U N E S. Right. Uh, but please tell me, frost giants? Exactly. Yep. We were confused as well. Still are. A, cu a couple <laughs> days. Upset. A couple days north of here, and the the tracks were heading towards the east. I see. Well, be careful. And there was a rune in the, one of the trees that was identified clearly as frost giant in origin. Uh, right, Fraggle? Absolutely. 100%. Uh, but Dragon Bait's the... uh, sense kind of changed very quickly as you're talking about frost giants. Are uh, you familiar with frost giants? Uh, well, hang on. Uh, Dragon Bait's uh, scent kind of changes from uh, brimstone to uh, honeysuckle uh, to ham. 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 Like, like hungry? Rec hungry? Time? Yeah, let's go eat some <laughs> frost giants. <It's> <laughs> uh our artist is, is, uh, replies to you, I, I have had dealings with frost giants, yes. You at least made it out of them alive. Well, I am a skilled individual. I believe it. So what are you looking for these ruins for? Do you know about the death curse? Do you know anything that would help us track down the cause of this death curse? Death curse. That's what they're calling it. I know nothing of this. 
everyone who has been He he looks raped. at Dragonbait who's uh sent goes back to Brimstone. Huh. What does that mean? That smell. Uh confusion. Apparently everyone who has died and been resurrected is having some sort of curse placed on them and they are slowly dying and nobody can be raised from the dead either. And this is across everywhere. This isn't just in Chult. This is across the entire world. I see. And you are searching the jungles of Cholt for the cause of this? We have been told that we might be able to find something to assist in stopping it here. We are unsure of exactly what is here, though. I think we were told that the source is coming from here somewhere. I think we do know. I think there you know are... the name of the thing. Soulmonger. Hell it's yeah. also trying not to give all of the information away. <laughs> well, I didn't know if you were trying to do that or if you were trying to... Uh... No, I was trying to be vague and not say everything we know. Sure. I'm not 100% sure I trust them. No, yeah. that's fine. Do we really care if he gets to the Soulmonger first? No. What happens if he's part of helping... The soul. Monger. You don't have to have told him the soulmonger. I was just making sure that you remember. You guys had the name. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we do have the name. It's actually under quest. If you're confused, we were asking. Yeah, I was looking. That's where I was looking. So what would we be looking for as we're wandering around that, you know, to identify the ruin that you're looking at for? Mm. Well, I'm looking for the ruins of Orolonga. Can you spell that? <laughs> O R O L U N G A. Just like it sounds, fire. Come on. Was a <laughs> uh, an ancient uh, ancient city with a a mighty ziggurat. Uh, legend has it that uh, there is a an ancient guardian naga who could help me in my quest. Perhaps yours as well. Wait, we a have naga? Find, if we happen to find this ruins accidentally, how would we be able to contact you to let you know where it is? Well, that would be a difficult situation. Since you can't be found using magic, is that what you tell him? No. No. Oh, okay. How would the Naga help you or us? I mean, aren't those things evil, and it will just attack us? Well, like many creatures, sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're evil. I also want to know if I know anything about Nagas. Uh, sure. Oops. Uh, 
Um, you can give me Arcana, Nature, or Religion, or History. Uh, nature would probably be the easiest to achieve. Well, I have my Arcana and Religion are exactly the same bonuses, so. Uh, Arcana would probably be easier than Religion. Did that roll? I didn't see one, no. You know nothing about Nagas. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Maybe you should ask the barbarians. Yeah, ask Jax. <laughs> right? Do I know anything about Nagas? Uh, I mean, arcana, history, nature, or religion? Let's see. Nature. How do I roll that check on this one? I don't reckon this interface is different. It looks really weird, and it, some of the note, the borders around it are a little strange. Uh, it should be the same, the the same spot, the where the dice is. I like this one because you can see what you're you have highlighted because it changes red. Um, Alexia also does not know anything about Nagas. <laughs> I wonder if I know anything from history. <laughs> no, no, nothing else. Hardly anything more. Did my nature roll work? I tried. Yep. I got okay, it. Okay, good. We're just typing out a response here. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, uh, I have you roll the insight check. What was I going to tell you? <laughs> oh, you want me to pause? pause? No, you're fine. Go ahead. Okay. Um. So we're just sit sitting around talking or whatever, and I say, as I'm like, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm like whittling some stuff. Here, you know, I'm a wood carver, so I'm like kind of whittling a little bit, and I'm like, well, guardian nagas are benevolent creatures that protect sacred places or things, items, things like that. And I keep I keep whittling away. Hey Fraggle, see how that's done? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me pull out my book and look around in there. I don't know why that's not there. I write that down. Wait, are you sure about that? You didn't buy the uh the Vols book, right? No. no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Bolo's book was like 50 gold, wasn't it? Yes. It was a lot of money, and we didn't have enough. Nope. So I've kind of, lost, kind of lost track of where we are. We're trying to figure out if we're going to help this gentleman, right? And, and, and the Dragonborn? Or... We've Whatever already said that we can't really help him directly. We could help mm -hmm. him if we happen to find it, but that's about it. Okay. Basically, we're stumbling around here, so we have no idea where anything might be. So we can't really help him. Aha! That's the thing that was in the back of my head. That sounds scary. Uh, 
An arrow? No. <laughs> That's supposed to be in the knee. No. Oh. Um, back up a few. Uh, I need to change Ar- Artis's reaction. Because uh, when you tell him his daughter is looking for him, he says, I don't have a daughter. Um, so basically, you I just know anybody? Thing all over. Well, someone's hunting you down. A half elf uh, female named Zandala. Does that ring a bell? Claiming to be your daughter. Claiming to be that name. Uh, he doesn't know who she is. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that she would have been telling the truth because she looks like she's older than Arturus here is. At least the looking. I knew there was a piece no, of yeah. information that was in the back of my head like, this is not right. There's something weird about this. That's part of the reason why I started the conversation by asking about that. Yeah, sorry. And there was something I knew there was something weird about the thing. I got distracted by dragon bait because I was like, wait, I thought he had a suit of dragon. No, it's Zendala has the pseudo dragon. <laughs> this is a problem when you like read like 200 pages worth of information <laughs> and try to hang on to it. Well, at least you are aware that somebody named Zendala is looking for you and we have no idea why. Can we describe Zendala to her to see if that rings a bell? You can. It doesn't. Um, he kind of shrugs off. Yeah, well, people have searched for me before. Why are you wanted? Have you done something wrong? Have you <laughs> pissed anyone off? No, I am an experienced adventurer. One has a tendency to make enemies and a reputation. Uh, he doesn't seem to be overly concerned about it. However, uh, Dragon Bait scent returns to ham. What was that ham meant again? Confusion. Okay. Brimstone was confusion. Oh. Ah, yeah, you didn't tell us what ham meant. No. Where's Dragon Bait from? He doesn't look like a lizard man. He doesn't look like a dragonborn. He's born. a Saurian, who which is from Cholt. Uh, I ask Artis, what does that ham smell signify for Dragon Bay? Uh, Huh? I'm thinking about how I want to respond to that question. Dragon Bay is worried for me. We are close friends. People looking for me don't always have the best of intentions. Well, I'm not sure what you don't, what you want with us. So, um, all right. Well, he, it is late. Uh, perhaps we should. Sleep for the night. Um, sounds like a plan. Um, is somebody gonna keep an eye on that guy? I hope so. Well, I think we should have a, a, a watch all night that one of us is always awake. Oh, yeah, or two. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, okay. The night passes by uneventfully. During the night, when assuming he is asleep, I want to ask Kawasha if he knows of 
this gentleman. See if there's anything he might have insight on. No, he doesn't know anything about him. Okay. He looks like just another uh, adventurer to him. Okay. Maybe a little more seasoned than averaged. But yep. That's pretty much it. Okay. Not that it's come up much, but I only actually need four hours of sleep a right. day, so I can help with more than one watch. If that assists people in terms of uh, figuring out how we can have two people up at a time. I mean, probably it will help, but uh, all right. So the next day, let's do the weather. Crossing off another insect repellent. Uh, average uh, temperature, very little wind, but heavy rain today. We will try to catch up on any water if we're behind, but I think we we weren't. That sounds about right. Okay. Uh, so in the morning, uh, Artis uh, tells you all that uh, if you will allow him, he would like to aid you in this quest to destroy, or to, I think you didn't tell him what the song was, to end the death curse, as it is a far more pressing evil than what he is working on. We can always use more help. We're just trying to find the, find out where it could be. Yeah, I mean, we've heard of, like, ancient warlords with undead armies and destroyed cities who really aren't destroyed and all sorts of crazy stuff out here. Um, but we, we haven't had a chance to investigate. From another continent less than two weeks ago. We are new to Chult, and we are trying to find out what we can about where this could be coming from. Uh, well, I don't, don't know where it could be coming from either. Perhaps our quests will coincide for a time, and we should seek out the ruins of Orlung. Perhaps the ancient guardian could help you. An ancient guardian would certainly have more information about this area than we do, and we could always use more knowledge. I look at Fraggle when I say that. And I look at Kawasha while he's saying this to see if there's a reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Who? I mean, he doesn't really care. He doesn't know where it is, though. All right, so sure. which direction do you think we should be going? Hopefully away from the Frost Giants. Uh, yeah, Artis say, well, I don't know where Orlung is, but perhaps we should search where there are no Frost Giants. Sounds sure. like a good plan. Um, have you heard of Raznissi or Mezro? Uh, Mezro is a ruin. Uh, hang on, let me read something real quick. Uh, he tells you that, uh, so you're asking about, uh, Roz and Mez the city of Mezro, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. So the, uh, this, uh, Roz, you know, 
he knows the history of of Roz. Uh, and he tells you that Mesro is a a city that uh, was destroyed in the spell plague. Right, but is, does he have any new information? <laughs> has he been there lately? Has he, you know, heard any news recently? Uh, the spell plague was a while ago. That's what you're yeah. asking. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. I know that. I'm asking if has he seen the city recently? Has he heard any new rumors or lately? I mean, we know what happened way in the past. Like, yeah, you seen the city? Have you been around there lately? I. Uh... Mm... He has been to Mesro, the ruins of Mesro recently, yes. Ah, have they been, is it completely destroyed like we've all heard, or is it, would it be worth looking into? Do I get any sort of feeling from this guy? <laughs> I mean, uh, is he sketchy looking? I mean, is he, you know, has a little twitch when he's like talking about, you know, helping us or anything? Um, the two of them seem to be upright fellows. Okay. Uh, you don't. You don't have any sense of them being evil or or any anything like that. Uh, their interest in helping you with the spell plague seems to be uh, quite uh, genuine. Genuine. Yeah. Uh, he. You know, I'll send you the same thing. He is sad regarding. Something about Mesro. We don't know what. Ah. The same would also be true of Roz as well. Really? Yeah. He's human, right? Yes. Actually, let me. I'm gonna give you a little more, a little different information. Um, as far as Mesro, he tells you that uh, he'll go on to tell you that he does not believe there is anything there that would help you in your quest. And as far as uh, Ross is concerned, he imagines that if you wander the jungles long enough, you'll uh, run into his effects on the jungle soon enough. Uh, I'm assuming most of the undead, right? Yeah. Yeah. We've already run into at least one undead that had his personal mark on it. And so... Do I see well, him could... react when I say that? <laughs> yeah. That what was, was that? Good... Did I see him react when I say that uh, we found... Or we run into at least one undead that had his mark on its forehead? Uh, he reacts, but in a... Uh, well, yeah, that's... <laughs> not shocked. Common? Yeah. Okay. Like, Okay, because Mesro was kind of like our first big learn about maybe something to do with the undead, with, with the undead and the death curse too. I mean, it's yep. 
seems like a scary kind of place. So, but if you don't think that's a place we need to look into, then we will avoid it for now. Uh, he Wait, just. What? Yes, Fahada. Well, I mean, why are we believing him, though? I mean, not that we think that he's bad, but. Oh, never mind. It's just me being innocent. So forget it. <laughs> uh, he tells you that the the runes have not changed recently. Or just say the runes have not changed. They're still runes. Okay. The runes have not changed. They're still runes. You mean they'd be something else? Well, they were something else. But they then they would have city. changed into something else and then become runes again? They were a city, and now they're ruins, and they haven't changed. Right. Okay. I was just going by words. It's also been thoroughly ransacked by the Flaming Fist. Yeah, I didn't know if it was implied oh. that like something magical could have happened with them after they became runes, and now they're normal again or something. Yeah, but being thoroughly ransacked by the Flaming Fist, that's a good piece of information. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See, I'm helping. Mm -hmm. I'm helping. Well, I'm not sure what else we're supposed to do here or where we're supposed to head. Oh, artists recommend artists pretty well insists that you go to the west, away from the frost away giants. Away from the frost giants. Right. A west young man, something like that. <laughs> That's kind of where Port Nianzaro is. So, does he mean southwest? Yeah, that'd be or good. Or just west? Okay. Yeah. Although at some point we will need to head back to Fort Belurian. To get Acheta. And then also to uh, Port Nianzaro. Actually, no, we can probably get the uh, supplies in both places. Yeah. And if you want to go back, you can go back to the fort to turn in the things, too. I mean, we can always keep on getting more and take more of them back. Depends on how long you want to hang uh, haul around ghoul True. heads. <laughs> Yeah, let's That's go back really now. <laughs> yeah, let's go back. <laughs> I'm sure they're getting pretty stinky already. I'm sure they were they probably are. already stinky. True that. Um, let's see how far. So five days to Fort Balurian. Um, hang on, let me look at my map. There's not very much helpful there. Well, I can tell you that the uh, Frost Giant tracks were two days travel north of where we are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got that part. That was for the players, too. Uh, That's on the ma I marked it on the map, I think. Yes, you did. Uh, so you're gonna go back to the fort. Uh, Artis says, uh, very well. Uh, he is going to uh travel to the west. Uh, and suggest that uh you meet him at Camp Righteous. I think we have a. Yeah, quest. we know where that is. Yeah, we have to go there for a quest. Yes, escort a priest. Nope, that's to Camp Vengeance. Camp Righteous was... is pretty damn far away. So yes. Well, I was trying to find a better place on the map, but that's a pretty decent place. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, I mean, it is called Camp Righteous, so I would hope yeah. it would be decent. Is there anything in particular that he would like us to tell this uh, mystery lady? 
or should we uh, avoid her? Are we going to be anywhere near where she is? He's in uh, Ganzaro. Port, yeah, the uh, port. Uh, so he he'll uh, he'll meet you at Camp Righteous. Uh, in so he he'll plan on being there in about twenty days. And uh, he'll wait there for you for some time. Uh, Artist, why don't you come with us to to the fort, and then we'll just leave together. Uh, he wishes to avoid the flaming fist. Yes, don't we all? <laughs> or when they're paying us, that's about it. Yeah. Okay, then. Okay, we will start heading back towards Fort Pelorian. Yeah, I need some more bug bug spray or whatever it's called. Off. In insect repellent. Every, didn't everybody start with at least a 20-day supply? Yes, but if we're already seven days in, she's got less than yeah. two weeks of it. Oh, do you need me to rub some on you? Are you running low? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not running low, but thank you. I don't think we should go directly back. I think we should, you know, maximize our stay out here. Wander there... around, see if there's any anything more we can collect on. Uh, I'm going to change. Any... Artist will meet you at Camp Righteous in about 30 days. He's going to uh, look for some clues in the jungle on his way. Is there anything you want us to tell your daughter? Uh, not daughter? already determined not the daughter. You mean like Billy Jean is not my lover? Uh, he asks that you do not mention him. Okay. Done. All right. So, which direction did you want to go from here? Back to turn in the heads. Do we want to stay out for a couple more days before heading back? Ten out, ten back? I mean, that's what we're out here for. Well, the one day we got we got in place because of the hurricane, so you don't know yeah. what the weather's going to be. So we are five days of travel away from yeah. Fort Florian mm -hmm. in terms of distance. Yeah, I think we should stay out and adventure do we want to stay around in the undead area for another like two three days see if we can find some more well, ghouls to kill well i mean i think five days travel back is plenty of time to wander around the jungle looking for undead well, right the undead aren't in the entire jungle on the way there for the most part like there's gonna be a yeah. few but we're only a day's travel into the area with large amounts of undead. That's like a yeah. known undead area. That, that's what we hired this guy to yeah, have him do. We just yeah. got here. Like I mean, yeah, I mean, I have enough bug repellent for, you know, like 14 more days. So we could like stay here and take yeah, out some more ghouls, get some extra money, and then, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't... I don't think we should go straight back. I think we should hang out here for another. You know, if we can get some more need... ghoul heads, because if we split this right now, we have to split it what eight ways. Yeah. Because there's all of us, including Dine, and then yep. we also have Kawasha. The two of them. Yeah, Kawasha. And... I, I think we he said, said he was Kawasha one. Was... Kawasha counts thing. as one. Yeah. Okay. We had yeah. to give him and his friend mm -hmm. 
one share. Yeah, and like I say, we we just got to the hunting area, so let's hunt. Yeah, <laughs> barbarian wants to hunt. And he and the um, the gentleman said we he'll meet us in thirty days. Yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah, and so we have time. I say tried five to, to he, so five to seven days travel back to Fort Belorian, including weather and such, mm -hmm. and then we have what almost four weeks to get there. I tried to, to pick a there. time that was would be not rushing you. Yeah. And yeah. he'll wait around a little bit too. Like he's not He knows what it's like to travel in the jungle. Yeah. All right. Let's start looking for something that smells rotting and undead. <laughs> so are you staying in this hex or are you going to a different hex? What would Kawasha suggest? Do we need to go deeper? Um Yeah, or is the this darker are you looking at the map? Yep. Yes. Yeah. So the darker area is going to be more higher than... likelihood. Right. Let's go. Let's go south another notch. Okay. The chickens must be fussing this night tonight. Bobby's not back yet. We'll leave him at camp. He'll be okay. This will be fun. Uh, good news. You find something. Is it what we were looking for? Frost <laughs> giants, frost giants, frost giants. Yeah. Come Please on. no. <laughs> da -da -da. Oh, that's neat. It pops that up. Hey, maybe they have ice cream. I don't know that I've ever had ice cream, but I've heard about ice cream. Yeah. Frost giants make it, they invented it. Yep. Um, let's do a perception check. This passive perception is maybe the the one thing I'm kind of meh on. Grubby isn't here. Tosh, click for Grubby. <laughs> um, all right, let me. I'll be right back. I got to run across the room. <laughs> well, you guys don't sit next to each other. Yeah, we do, and you can hear me through her mic. Yeah. No, 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 try that again. They can hear me through your mic. My mic is noise canceling. I think it goes both ways. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Worse yeah. than you. <laughs> Worse than you. <laughs> uh, Fraggle, Alexia, and Bojax, uh, you are aware of a... Oh, you know, I should have done... That's good. Uh, you are aware of a rather large uh, creature. Uh, in the vicinity, coming in your general direction. I just did a roll for you, Grubby. Okay. Um, something's coming. Something large is coming. Uh, t take positions and hide. We I weapons guess. at the ready. Yep. yep. At the ready. And I'm going to try to find a hiding spot. See if we can maybe set up an ambush. Oh, dear. Which way is it coming from? Uh, well, heck, let's let's shake up the thing. Let's say, well, you're moving south-ish, so we'll move you guys. You guys are moving Towards south. The south, yep. And... It is coming from the southeast. And if you'd like to move yourselves around, have at it. And while you're doing that, I will have you roll for initiative as well. Ooh, not good. Mine was okay. I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> We're all pretty good, too. Uh, 
Uh, I can do that. Let's give Quasha a roll. Oh, that's not give him an actual roll that I makes sense. Uh, Quasha recognizes the creature based on the the sound, tells it is most likely an Allosaurus. Oh shit! <laughs> oh dear! By the way, you didn't give us a long rest blast over the night. Mm, damn it! <laughs> Thought that might happen. Uh, all right. Went to go oh, look good. at my spells, and I was like, I don't have those back. I'm looking for a big tree to hide behind. That seems plausible. Yeah. Let's see, you got an 11. I got 18. Let's see, where's Fraggle? Hey, Guess what, Grubby? We're we're playing Isle of Dread already. <laughs> before it's released. Have you ever fed an Allosaurus before? Here's your <laughs> chance. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, an opening for an Allosaurus trainer. Oh dear. More than nine fingers required. The question is what happened to the previous one, right? We'll start with Fajada. Okay. Uh, I'd I say just I charge don't actually it. See, I don't actually see them on the map. It's not on I the map me. yet. But, oh. Well, then what am I charging? I don't know. Are you charging? No. <laughs> I'm giving you an <laughs> opportunity to do something beforehand. Okay. Uh... Going to just looking to see. Just looking to see if I have anything. Okay, I'm going to ready my weapon, my crossbow, for uh to shoot at anything that attacks me or my companions. Okay. We know which direction this thing's coming from. Southwest. Southeast. Southeast. So, southeast? Yeah, sure. That, yeah. Southeast. That's definitely southeast. I will stay where I am. Another eye. Oh, I'm going to move up to there, and then I'm going to do a prepared action to use Ray of Frost for anything that is aggressively coming after us, or coming towards us that's within 60 feet. Okay. Fraggle? I am doing what I should do and run, running up here, hiding behind them and a tree. If I could find one or some sort of cover somewhere. Uh, you can hide behind a tree and get some cover. Uh, however, you will not be able to have a ready attack at the same time. Correct. I'll just hide. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Nope, oh, not that, not that. It doesn't give me a effect for cover, huh? That's lame. Let's see. Cover is plus two, right? I think light cover, yeah. But I really more wanted to hide than... Oh, you want to hide? Yeah. Well, I'm going to finish making this as a program thing because that seems like something that could be useful. And then I'm going to look for... Uh, I know there's a... Uh, spell... Do you have the hide action on your hop on your action tab? Oops. I don't. 
We can fix that. Yeah, I can drag it from probably the one of the modules, right? I got you. Okay. There you go. So should I just click the effect or what am I doing? Just click the effect, yeah. Okay. Excellent. I guess I'm done. Yeah. Uh Kawasha will also hide. Yep. Oh wait, he's got And already got an action to hit anything that comes within reach that looks hostile. Okay. Let's see. What's Dine got for weapons? Short bow. Uh, he will also come over and hide. Holy cow. Why is it not doing the... Oh, do I need to... No. Why is it not giving me the... Uh... There we go. All right, this thing, uh, this thing comes crashing through the, the brush. Sees you all and lets out a nice roar. Awesome! <laughs> Which one? There's several dinosaurs in there. The toothy one. Toothy one. <gasps> a mini T-Rex? Sure. Something like that. It's, uh... Nobody move. They have horrible eyesight. <laughs> it's already roaring at us. It's obviously already noticed us. And do our, uh... And just... Does just, it... just to give kind of a, a an idea, this thing's moving about twice as fast as you generally move. Oh crap. Yeah. I guess that means that I shoot away because it's coming at us, right? Yes. Okay. Did I not get a chance to do my prepared action? He's doing those now. Okay. That's yeah, that's what we're talking about. I'm first, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 21 will hit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, nine damage. Yay, she killed it. No, <laughs> no she didn't. Yeah, well. <laughs> and definitely didn't. Oh, yeah, that was all I can do. Because that was my prepared action. Uh, and now that I had no. one. Nice. That'll hit. Dinosaur. And its uh, movement speed is reduced for my 10 feet until the start of my next turn. Okay, cool. 
It's moving so fast, though. <laughs> I know, but it yeah. does reduce it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gotten to Alexia's turn. Uh, what were you? Are you you? But you said you wanted to ready an action to shoot. So go ahead, uh, Tosh. Yeah. That'll hit. Ooh, everybody hit the dinosaur. And because I have repeating shot, I don't lose my arrow. I'll get it right back. All right, you do nine damage to it. Okay. And I think that's all I can realistically do at this point in time. Uh, Grubby, what are you doing there? Uh, are we into our turns this time and now? So we're past the prepared actions. Uh, it is Bojax's turn. Your prepared action was to hit it if it got close to you, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. What are you doing, oh. all-knowing? What do I need to do to bring that map back up? I just uh, knocked in your it off. character sheet, the top right picture of your character, just double click it. Okay. Thank you. Um, how far can I move and still get my main action, Pat? I don't know these. They are completely separate. You can attack Pretty and deep. move, and if you have something for bonus action, those are all separate. So you're okay. you, for a move action, you can move up to your speed. But you can all. It doesn't have to be all at once. So you don't have to okay. move. You can. So your max, your speed is thirty, which means for a move action, you can get up to a, a maximum of thirty feet. But you could move okay. ten feet and then attack it, mm -hmm. and then move another twenty feet after that attack. So I can move next to Grub like this, correct? You can twenty five sure. and still. Okay, so I want to move there. And then let me get my thing back up. No, don't move. So if I want to attack the uh, Allosaur. Depends on what you attack it with. Uh, breath weapon. What's the range on your breath weapon? 30 feet. So what's the process again on this? Uh, you can target it. So control, left click. Oh, control. Okay. And what then... Uh, hang on, you are... You targeted yourself too, by the way, so... Oop. Do not target self with breath weapon. It would be mm -hmm. bad. All right, you are no longer targeting yourself. Okay. So it I'm does give action. you like a little circle around yourself when you target yourself, but it's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, so open up your. Uh, open up your breath weapon. Oh, on your character man. sheet. So I'm trying to find sign. the right. The plus sign. There it is. Yep. Okay, okay. And then you and double then... click on the save. Yep. Okay. So there we go. And then double click the damage. Damage. And then we need to change that to be once per short rest. Uh, t it's per barbarian rages. Breath weapon? Yeah. Say that? Wait, what? How well, do you get to use it per for every? It's just uh, after you use it, what you can't use it until you complete a short or long rest. I I'm not I sure how it, it tied to your I, barbarian. 
I thought it was twice per or tight. You could use it the same number of times as your. No, rage. you were thinking of the one that uh, the other sub race that Dine mm. is. Dine oh, sub race okay. can use it number of proficiency modifier, but it does oh, okay. less damage. Okay. Right. Okay. And then uh, get my uh, sword ready. As okay. My you, you can draw it. You can't ready it to do anything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's what I would do. And there's something I can click down below that gets it so it's not my turn anymore. There is. What is this? What is uh, it? On the combat tracker, combat. there's a down arrow. Oh, combat tracker. Bottom left corner of combat tracker. There it is. Yep. Okay. Alexia. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to do the same thing again. Oops, maybe I should make sure I have it targeted again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shot goes wide. Let me forget my get my bolt back. And anything else I can do here. Nope. Fahada. Okay, I'm gonna take another shot. Seems reasonable. That's going to miss. It bounces off its hide. Oh. Well, I think that's... If I should move... No. I'm going to stay here. Oh, I'm not in the middle of a square? No, I'm in the middle of a square. Close enough. Does that work? Yep. It's advanced... Okay. Oh, it didn't advance it. No, if that's what you're asking. Okay, let me. Uh, okay. Uh. Let me try that again. I get you. Another eye. Same thing as last time. Let's do a ray of frost. I am way the heck too high. Uh, okay, three damage to the Allosaurus. I do like the token for this. Nice big jaws. Mm. <laughs> Trying to see how far I am once I actually move, because I'll probably move a little bit more. Yup. Uh... Done? No, I'm going to move a little bit more. Okay. I want to be outside of the 50-foot movement speed that it probably <laughs> has. It occurred to me that we're like basically playing Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's The Lost World, and I think that's awesome. <laughs> uh, Fraggle? Yeah, kind of we are. Um, I raise my hands, and a flash of light streaks forward towards that creature thing, dinosaur, whatever it is. Uh, uh, I had an what advantage. Is it, what cause you it had, it's because you had hide on still. Oh, well, was I hidden or not hidden? Um, give me a hide check. Or a stealth check. Uh, no, you were not hidden. Okay, so we want to re-roll that then? Uh, yeah, we'll take the hide off you. Okay. Still hits. Uh, 22. That hits, right? Yep. 12 damage. 
give it the effect too, because the next person to attack it has an uh, advantage. Yep. True, it does. Turn has advantage on the next attack. Great single target spell. Ooh. Oh, nope. That didn't what? work. No, that uh, worked. It's on it. Oh, it's on it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it should automatically work. So whoever's next turn it is. It's Kalash's turn. Uh, he... What's the range on this? Yeah, I want the range. 30 feet. That's unfortunate. All right, well, he's going to move there and I uh, a flame pops up in his hand. And it's Grub's turn. I will just ready an action to hit it if it moves within range. Okay. Fine is going to shoot the thing. He is currently stealth. Does did he keep it? Uh, actually, I'm thinking he's gonna use his. I'm gonna have him use his breath weapon. If I can figure out how long it is. I don't think it's sixty feet. Lame that it doesn't have a range on it. Should. Well, just not in the description. It oh. references a. Uh, a table. Uh, all right. Well, I'm just gonna shoot it then. <laughs> yeah, it's on the ability under the abilities. No, I it... don't have that module loaded. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'll 15 have fifteen foot cone. What was it? His is a fifteen foot cone. There you go. Uh, he misses. Even with the advantage. Thanks, Fraggle. <laughs> so helpful. Damn it, he's fired. <laughs> How much are we paying him? A share? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's turn. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. No! <laughs> Uh, all right, Grubby has a. Oh, hey, we're. Uh... That's cool. Grubby, go ahead and do your attack. Oh, that'll hit. Cool. A lovely nine damage. It's 
find a grid that's a little easier to see. Hey, is that better? That's yes. visible. <laughs> so I'm going to say one thing that I find interesting. Yeah. Everybody who has been who is able to do um nine damage other than Fraggle has done nine damage on their first hit against this creature. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of obscure, but cool. So Fahada did nine damage. Alexia did nine damage. Grub did nine damage. Grub yeah, gets hit with a rest. claw attack. Dang. For five damage. And he has to make a strength saving throw. Which he does. And it's Jax's turn. So, I'm going to rage. I'll start with that. Okay. So, hit the effect for rage. Um, which you can put I'm... on your hotbar, too, if you want. You'll probably use that a lot. Danger sense rage. Okay. So, to put that on the hotbar, you drag the... Effect. Funky... The, the little person thing. The little person. person button, you can drag that onto your hotbar. Oh, I got to open it up first. There yep. it is. Okay. That's why I didn't see it. Okay. So we'll rage. So I believe I'm raged now. You are raged. Okay. And then I'm going to, let's see, control click to the Allosaur. Okay. And so far. then I believe I need to roll the dice. The attack for your weapon. Which is not there. On your actions tab, if you go all the way to the top, it'll have your weapon section. And that's where I'm at. The, right after the hand is the attack die. And then after that's the damage die. And you can double click it. Oh, double click. That was my bad. Okay. I only single clicked it. 22 will hit. And then. That. 11 more damage. Got it bleeding yet? And then I need to go to the tracker and do that. I don't remember what I have it set to for you guys to see if it's a bar or a dot. I think it's dot, isn't it? It's a, a dot. dot. So it's heavy. What color's the dot? Uh, orange. Looks orange. Orange red. Okay, so I gave you the detailed version. You can set it so, like, to have it detailed so it'll kind of have five colors, or you can have it not be detailed and it's only six or ah. three colors. That hits, Tosh. Awesome. Allosaur Burgers, come on. We hungry. It is now critically wounded. Yeah. Next. All right, Fahada. All right, I'm going to take another shot at it. Oops. It covered up my map when I pulled my dice. Yeah. Try that again. It doesn't matter how much real, like, desktop space you have in Fantasy Grounds, it's never enough. No. No. Uh, never. No. That's going to hit. Nice solid 24. Okay, come on, big money, big money, big money, big money. Oh, okay, that's kind of big. big. That's kind of big. We'll take it. So okay. I figure I figured out the whole turn thing that in your in my hot bar, mm -hmm. I actually have to each game I have to reapply it to my hot bar. Is that what it is? Yep. Is that, is that because yep. there's yep. almost always an update? I don't know. It it break it I don't even think it matters the update. It breaks in between. It could be because I'm in so many games, but Oh. Sure. Yep. I need to stop giving you guys turns to prepare. No. Just like to modify um, things. <laughs> I am just going to uh told the dead. Okay. Uh let's see. He needs to make a wisdom saving throw. He's a dinosaur, so probably not very good. He he does not make the wisdom saving throw. 
See, it doesn't show if it makes it or not on our screen. I can't tell. Yeah, we're okay. not seeing any of that kind of stuff. And it is wounded, right? Mm hmm. So it takes D12 mm -hmm. and 11. That will kill it. Nice. Oh. Did, we, did we just do 11 damage, 11 damage, and 11 damage? No, oh someone did nine God. damage in between us, but. Okay. Okay, like, does it fall, like, big and heavy and. Oh, yeah, nice make a bunch thump. Of <gasps> That's so cool. With a uh, dying, it, it roars, but in a dying way. Or at least it's not a dying way. Do we hear anything else? Mm, no. Okay. Then I'm going to run up to it, and I'm really going to check it out. I don't know. I mean, this is, it is huge. It's a large cr creature. Yeah. yeah, what is it? It's an allosaurus. An Allosaurus. I mean, it's beautiful. Why did you have to attack us? You could have just gone on living. That's what she says to it. Uh, based on its... Uh, based on its teeth? Probably because it needs to eat you. Oh, It clearly doesn't need to eat us. We'll try. We would have just been a snack for you. But now yeah. we get Alistair burgers. As if it's actually talking back to us, but anyway. Is it? <laughs> Basically is it a smaller t Um, Probably. It's made of meat. Would, yeah, it probably tastes like alligator. Other dinosaurs would eat it. For whatever that's not, worth. Not, yeah, many, yeah, not <laughs> many are able to eat it, though. <laughs> I mean, there are bigger dinosaurs. Not many. There's always a bigger bigger fish, right? Yeah. Yeah. And if not, you just need to call John Hammond and he'll make you one. <laughs> Actually, I think in uh I think there's one where there is an allosaurus. They call it an allosaurus, but it's like totally not and it's like bigger than the T-Rex, but I could be wrong on mm -hmm. that. What's the yeah. one in the third one that that kills the T-Rex like right off the That's bat? That's a something or a, it's not a, it was a, a hybrid in the third one. So. I want to harvest some claws and a couple of, Big teeth. I think these would sell back at town. Okay. You can. I mean, it's got several claws and lots of teeth, so. Yeah. The, the, the six claws, three on each arm. Why oh, I know this about. They call it a spinosaurus in the third one. Oh, okay. That was a real dinosaur, I think, right? Um. Is that a made maybe. up one? I don't know. It, it's got a Wikipedia page with a skeleton, so... Mm. Okay, then. Seems pretty legit. Yeah. So, harvest a half dozen claws and a couple of the big teeth. Just put it on your character, on your inventory. Oh, yeah. If I remember where I'd get the party sheet. I guess I will take a claw to add to my collection. Sure. Probably end up with a pretty decent collection here. And a tooth. And I'm just taking notes. <laughs> I'm gonna make my own Volo's guide. The Fraggle guide? The, the Fraggle guide, yeah. To the overworld. Whatever Sounds they call tough. it. Uh okay, so can I 
figure out if this is edible for us. Sure. Give me an issue we check. We think it is. Um, or ask the guide. Would it be nature or survival? Um, interesting question. I will take either. Okay, I'm going to ask the guide too, but I'm going to also roll. I want to. Oh well, yeah, definitely. I just need the guide to help make me make me see make me sure. You know, so just. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can eat it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Chultians eat all sorts of dinosaur meat. It's like they're cattle. This was just a big cow Except with teeth. Came here. <laughs> kind of like going hunting for deer, huh? Didn't I we mean, see that more like going hunting for lions, but yeah, yeah, sure. But tastes like crocodile. Tastes like chicken. Big Does crocodile chicken. taste like chicken? It's not crocodile. It's more like a bird. No? I've had crocodile. I don't think it tasted like chicken, but it was a long time ago. Crocodiles are reptile. It's legal to eat them here. There's no yes, protection on alligators anymore, so. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to do with the dinosaur? Move away from it before a bigger dinosaur comes along. Smelling <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? yeah. Vacate yeah. the area. Yeah. Put some, put some in the meat so we can have some of that later. Sure. I'm just having fun with... Uh, I see that. Things here. All right. uh, I mean, did anyone get wounded? Grub did. Grubby got nicked. Oh, He's dwarf. He can take it. <laughs> All right. So you make it to the camp. To camp for the night. Okay. Normal watches, all that blah, blah stuff. Yeah. What are your watches? There's a watch order on the party sheet. Yeah. Give me a watch order while we're thinking about it. I mean, there is one in there. Yeah, there's one in the notes. Wait, in notes or? Mm. The party sheet has a an actual watch order in it now. Right, but it, Fragal, it doesn't Fahana, actually. Alexia. Well, no, that's oh. just it doesn't actually have a watch order. It just has a place for us to decide it. Right now, it's just kind of random. Like, you can set a watch order, but it's not set. Yeah, we're all set at zero. Right. I would like the last watch. I'll go first. I'll, I'll take first. I need to reset take... the breath weapon, so... After I get my two hours of sleep, I can be on watch for the rest of the night with whoever else. So I can take, like, third and on or whatever you want to break it down to. So are you doing four watches? I'm not going to be the only person doing four watches. Yeah, but... you're dividing into four yes. watches. That's yes. my question. Okay, so who's on watch two? Oh. And who else? Um, I will be with Grub. Feels there's six, but there's six of us. Why would so we, we wanted to have two people on each watch? Yeah, and Grub so is not. I'm ranged, and he's up close and personal. But we also have the guide too. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, right. I have so I have uh, Fahada and Bojax for first watch, Alexia Grub for second, Naldrai and Dine for third, and Naldrai and Fraggle for four. Works for me. Yep. And I'll just consider that a standard watch, uh, hey. unless someone says something different. Hey. Hey. Grub, do you hear that? He doesn't. Uh, I didn't hear anything. I'm hearing somebody marching toward us. Marching? Sounds, that's what it sounds like. 
Can you tell if there's more than one? It sounds like a group. Which direction is it? I point in the direction that it's coming from. Mm, sure. Northeast. Coming from the northeast. Let's wake everybody up. I wake we wake everybody up. Okay. Uh as you finish doing that, the group comes through the bushies. If you guys just want to roll initiative on your own while I'm putting this together, you can do that. Oh, why do we have to fight? Can we just be friends? Apparently not. It's initiative. I didn't say you were going to be fighting. There. Oh, okay. Well, I won. <laughs> okay. So did Grub. <laughs> A group of skeletons comes walking into your camp. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh no, skeletons. I am so scared. <laughs> How many skeletons are in this group? You say skeletons? that, but there's a large group right there. And it's getting bigger. <laughs> that many skeletons. Ten of them. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching D and D on DDOcast. Uh, if you'd like to find more of our adventures, you can find them at DDOcast.com or on our DDOcast YouTube and Twitch channels. Uh, we've been using Fancy Grounds Unity. You can get started with your virtual tabletop gaming experience today at FancyGrounds.com or at FancyGrounds2 on Twitter if you'd like to check this out. Uh, they have sales all the time, uh, so keep an eye on that. Uh, and you can follow me on Twitter at DDOcast, uh, and you can check out DDOcast.com for our weekly DDO news and discussion show as well as other tabletop and gaming adventures. Thanks for joining us. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. See ya.